As a new legislative and fiscal year was being ushered in to thunderous pounding, parliamentarians celebrated the government's successes in 2023. First up was the 10 consecutive quarters of economic growth enjoyed since the pandemic and a 4.2% unemployment rate, the lowest in the country's history since independence. Governor General Sir Patrick Allen was also quick to point out the upgraded BB- ratings for the country in September 2023 by ratings agency Standards & Poor's and a record high net international reserve at the end of December. By any objective measure, Jamaica's economic performance has been exemplary and has caught the attention of the world. Every Jamaican should be proud that Jamaica is now recognized globally for the vibrancy of our music and culture, the speed of our athletes, and the strength and speed of our economic recovery. The government's recognition of and efforts taken to tap into the transformative powers of technology to shape the society was another highlight. Through the government wide area network and national broadband project, 14 parish courts, eight police stations, and 14 municipal corporations, 49 ministries, departments and agencies, and 662 educational institutions and places of safety have been provided with dedicated internet access. Describing the country's quest to provide potable water as unrelenting, the Governor General says the goal to increase the country's water footprint was overarching in 2023. In 2023-24 financial year, 200,000 Jamaicans island-wide benefited from water improvement projects, costing some $4 billion. Successful was how the government's crime-fighting plans were described. The government's crime-fighting strategy has yielded notable success as Jamaica recorded a 7.8% reduction in homicides and an aggregate 11% reduction in all crime categories for 2023 compared to 2022. The infrastructural reforms to national security facilities were among reasons for the successes. Meanwhile, the healthcare sector has undergone the most comprehensive infrastructure improvement since independence. The government has broken ground for the modernization of the Spanish Town Hospital to offer a broader range of specialized medical services and has also made significant progress on the Cornwall Regional Hospital Rehab Rehabilitation Project and the construction of the new Western Child and Adolescent Hospital. In addition, the government provided 2,500 posts for doctors to expand primary health care and increase service quality. Employment by contract was eliminated and better working conditions were provided for hospital staff. As for the tourism sector, in 2023, it continued to surpass its previous achievements. Jamaica welcomed a record 4 million 150,000 visitors, comprising 2,890,000 stopover visitors and 1,260,000 cruise passengers and generated some U.S. $4.2 billion in revenue. Although the agricultural sector experienced challenges in the last year, there were still victories. The government's interventions in 2023 sought to mitigate losses, increase the resilience of the sector, and ensure the country's food security. The government provided some $1.3 billion to advance growth in the sector through the Production and Productivity Program. This yielded production of 777,000 tons up to the end of December 2023, the second highest level of domestic crop production in the country's history. Meanwhile, the electric vehicle policy, along with guidelines for energy efficiency and conservation in public facilities, especially schools and hospitals, were tabled in Parliament. Efforts to diversify energy sources for public passenger vehicles for the Jamaica Urban Transit Company 
received a major boost with the acquisition of five battery electric buses as well as 20 compressed natural gas CNG fueled buses. So for 2023, Jamaica made strides in its attempt to create a peaceful, productive and prosperous nation.